it's 8 o'clock and 82 degrees. The temperature is going to rise today to the upper 90s as, as it has uh, for the last week. We haven't had any rain in over a week, so the ground is very dry. I'm going to try to hunt today with my AT Pro, uh, which I've used exclusively for water hunting in the past. But watching the YouTube, YouTube videos, uh, I see where people are saying that the AT Gold and the AT Pro are excellent trash machines. So I thought I'd give it a try today. I'm going to use the 5x8 coil and uh, see if I can pull anything else uh, out of this vacant lot. Okay, well, my first find with the AT Pro is a little piece of brass. It appears to have a design on it. I'll have to clean it up better when I get home to, to find out if I can really make out what it is. The signal was coming in at about 45, which is considerably lower than where the pull tabs out here have been coming in with the, the AT Pro. It was good, good solid signal. So we'll, we'll see if it can continue to pull stuff out of here. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the way the AT Pro is working in this trashy site. It's got uh, quick recovery time, and uh, it's the, the iron audio feature is pretty neat because this machine apparently loves big pieces of iron, and they'll give you a good uh, signal, but if you turn on the iron audio, you'll start getting the iron cracking in the signal. So it saves you a lot of uh, wasted digging time. There's nothing like a big aluminum token to get your blood pumping. And that's all this is. Certainly thought I had a silver dollar when I saw it come out of the ground. Well, the site at least has produced a heel plate. This one with the uh, heart in the center of it. It's a little bent, but uh, solid and in good condition otherwise. Keep hunting for a while. And not very far from uh, the heel plate, a little piece of uh, brass, I guess spoon handle. So there are at least some uh, targets in this area besides pull tabs. Keep looking here for a little bit. Well, I thought this was going to be just another one of the uh, ton of uh, memorial pennies, both uh, copper and clad, that I've taken off of this uh, vacant lot. But uh, it's not. It's a, it's a wheat penny, or the remnants of one. Looks like somebody punched a hole through the center of this for some purpose. Mixed in with the pool tabs and again a ton of memorial pennies is house junk brass. Lots of lots of little pieces of brass and things like this little drawer pull. Got to still be some some nice coins or maybe war relics in this site. It's obviously an old house. There's old brick in the ground. Uh, so trashy that stuff can really hide in here. The things you come across when you're relic hunting. Uh, no further comment uh, needed on this uh, fart spray. Well, mixed in all this trash, pulled out this little pistol ball. So there are war period items still in here. I've picked a few of them out of here, so I know there's got to be more. And this is a little junk brass ring. Not much else I can say about that. Well, I, I may have spoken too soon on this uh, little ring. Uh, I don't believe it is brass. I believe it's silver. 
there does appear to be a, a hall mark and it's got stones in it which I'm sure are not anything of any great value but an interesting find nonetheless well I'll say it again I'm pretty impressed with the way the AT Pro is uh, picking good targets out of this extremely trashy area uh, gotten so I've learned more what the uh, pull tabs come in as and the range that they come in unfortunately the uh, screw caps aluminum screw caps of which there are plenty of those come in in the mid 70s which is exactly where that uh, that little silver ring was coming in uh, this appears to be it's brass and it appears to have a design on it I guess my, my guess would be that it's either a uh, a watch, pocket watch cover, which is really what I think it is, or some kind of lid off of a, a little case of some kind. Uh, it's got a definite design on it. Looks like it was probably gilded, and there may be a little bit of gilt left on it. So I'll get it home cleaned up, find out what it is. And I'll end up the day with a uh, piece of harmonica reed. getting pretty warm and this may be my last video for quite a few weeks I'm getting ready to head back over to England this time to the Norfolk area and I'll be over there hunting for a couple of weeks